Mm, recording, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna teach how to install Null DC and get it running online and kicking ass with like as little effort as possible. This will be using Bear, which is my new launcher, and I'll teach you how to install it on its own or put it inside an existing Blueminder installed if you already have that set up and you don't want to set anything up again. First things first, put Null DC Bear in an empty folder. That's all you need. You don't need the actual emulator or anything. It will do all that shit for you because no one has time to read through a billion docs to just to get a game running. So I'll ask you, do you want to install all this in this folder? And click yes. It will tell you that you will create a bunch of files in this folder because I don't want people just out of randomly putting files everywhere. And then just complaining to me, Null the Sea Bear put a bunch of files on my computer without reading it. Click yes. Okay, that's it. You're all set up. You have Null DC with all the BIOS and everything just already set up. The only thing you're missing is games. Because Null DC doesn't count games because they're big ass files and I don't want to include them. So if you need any game, I have a shortcut here. Just double click it get any game you want unzip it in the folder now i have blue minder and supersonics 3 pack of the rom so i'm just gonna copy one of the games from there i'm gonna copy them cap converts to snk because that's what i play most of the time just gonna paste it in here and that's it open all this bear now Clippy comes up the first time you run it and everyone usually ignores him and just keeps asking questions on the Discord that Clippy already told them. That's fine. Just click Let's Go. What's your name? Put in your name. It will automatically choose Radmin as the default network because that's the only reliable way to play online at the moment. But if you have, let's say, a LAN, you can choose the main LAN. But Radmin is what you want like 99% of the time. Port, leave it. This is the default port for Null DC. Everyone uses this port. I don't see why you would want to change it. Next, button mapping. Now, this is where people get confused most of the time. Click the button mapping. Get your controller plugged in, of course. And just try it out. For me, yeah, clicking down goes up, clicking up goes down, and left is left, right is right. So, first things first. Even if you're using like a hitbox, those actually emulate triggers. So always calibrate. Okay. Store your shit around. Like, okay. Now Bear knows exactly what axes you have. And it will use those. Now, for binding. Click the up arrow. Put up. Press up on your stick, click the down arrow, press down on your stick, click the left, uh, click left on your stick, click the right one, click right on your stick, and just do this for all the buttons to set them up however you want. Now you notice there's also these here 1 plus 4, 2 plus 5, 3 plus 6. These are micros that are built into Bear because it's physically impossible to click some of these combos on a controller. I include some micros. So if you want to like easy roll cancel, just click here, assign it to like a trigger or something, and there you go, you can easy roll cancel. A lot of people think this is cheating because they use a fight stick that can easily input those, but on a controller it's physically impossible to roll cancel. That's why I include this here. Done. Done and done. And that's it. You're all set up. Now if you go to offline, you can see all the games you have installed. And you can try those out, but I'm just going to show you how the online works. So if anyone has Bear running on the same Radmin network, just click refresh and you'll see their name. The only thing you need to do is double click them, choose the game you want to fight them on and click let's go. You don't need to put in ports or IPs or any of that nonsense. Here is the host panel. First thing you usually want to do is click suggest. So it can suggest a delay for you, but since I'm on a LAN with my laptop, of course, it's going to suggest a delay of one. 
the limiters some people like to audio sync it some people like to fps limit it it's very dependent on which system you're actually running for myself i know that fps limit at 59 works great if you have no idea which one to use just use audio sync it works for every computer but fps limit with a limit of 59 i know gives me less input delay which is why i use it just click host when the host will start it will tell the other guy that you're ready to host and it will automatically start it for them they don't need to do anything and this is how you got it working online that's all you do just double click a guy select the game choose your delay and then you go you don't need to put any ports or ips or ask them to have an it degree in order to get it running okay so now for part two how to get this running on blue miners launcher step one copy there step two throw that shit in the node dc 104 folder now if you're using the latest repack from supersonic and blue minder you already have pair installed in there but most people don't seem to know that <coughs> start bear up button mapping check if everything is fine in my case no because i removed all my binds last time And that's it. You got it running and bad. Now a lot of people use anti micro, joy to key or any other software to play on Blueminder's launcher, which is fine. Bear can handle that also. All you have to do is click unbind all. It will unbind all the bear keys and you can just go back to using whatever you want. Now if you have a QJC file, which null is actual internal supported file type if you have a qjc file and you know for a fact it works already on blueminders launcher just turn off the bare uh, mapper since null DC already has a proper mapping uh, file that's you don't need to use the the bears remapper done and again if you click refresh you see the same person and I have a lot more games on the repack. These are pretty much all the games that come with the repack. Now, the only thing you need to make sure is that you and the other person have the same games. Because let's say I try to challenge my laptop to a Street Fighter Super Upper. I know it's not going to work because it does not have that game. But don't worry, it's going to tell you that they don't have that game or that they're using a different ROM file or something. So people don't like start up different versions of a ROM and then just get desynced in the middle of a match and just have to restart and then just figure out what the hell is going on then talk to each other and be like, oh no, I have this ROM file. Oh wait, I have this ROM file and then have to do all that. But no, just double click on a guy. If they have the same ROM file, it will allow you to challenge them. If they don't have the same ROM file, it will tell you that guy doesn't have that ROM file. That's it. You can also click and click challenge if you don't want to double click for some reason. You can also just click host and just start up a host and wait for someone to join it. Let's say I'm going to start a host of this. I'm going to set the delay to 1 because I want anyone that's joining me to only have a delay of 1. And I'm just going to join on my laptop and as soon as they're loaded it will start there we go now the games are loaded and I did this by hosting and waiting just for just anyone to join me if they want to join me. Capcom versus SNK2. Also another thing two. is if the other person leaves and is a coward, then Bear will tell you that they left and it will just close it instead of going desync and throwing you a billion errors that it desynced. And that's it. That's 
all you basically have to do. There's no IPs, there's no ports, there's no sending codes, there is no telling your friend, oh, I'm using a delay of 5, you should also use a delay of 5. No, just fuck any of that shit. No one got time for that. Double click on the person, let's go. As soon as they accept, host, and you're done. Don't need to do anything else. Okay? Okay.